Hey, what's happening, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. On uh, this segment, let's discuss a match between Kamar Usman and Hamzat Chimaev. Now, this isn't necessarily a breakdown video. Just going to talk about whether or not Hamzat is deserving of a title shot, if he's there yet, and a little bit about the matchup. All right, so let's dive into it. All right, so Hamzat Chimaev, 6'2", 75 inch reach. Mixed martial arts record, 10 and 0, perfect. All finishes, four KO TKOs and four submissions. He is officially a blue belt in BJJ. But honestly, guys, he's black belt level. He is a phenomenal wrestler. He's been wrestling all of his life. He's won the Swedish Nationals 2015, 2016, 2018 gold. That's in freestyle wrestling. Out of his mouth, he's been training martial arts, various styles, since a kid. That goes for boxing, judo, wrestling, you name it. If you research his accolades in wrestling alone, pretty impressive. Now, he's had four fights in the UFC, all stoppages, finishes in the first and second rounds. Three in the first round. I think in his four fights, he's absorbed maybe like two strikes which is insane. Now, of course, in all honesty, you have to take into consideration the quality of opponents. Lee Jinglian has been his toughest test to date as far as like record-wise, ranking-wise. It was a step up in competition on paper and Hamzat Chemeyev passed with flying colors, to say the least. Total domination. Personally, love Hamzat. I think the guy is a killer. I do think he's the real deal. I think he's going to make huge waves going forward in his career. I think that he is champ material. And yes, I do understand that he hasn't faced a top 10 opponent yet. Which segues into the champion, Kamaru Usman. So extremely dominant at welterweight. And he's just getting better and better. Usman is a specimen of an athlete. Really, really strong wrestling. His striking is improving with every fight. He has KO power. Kamal Usman certainly could take a shot. We've seen him absorb some big punches. And he keeps coming. Shrugs them off relatively well. Has great recovery. Usman's cardio and conditioning, pretty damn good. He's actually known for it. Known to break guys in that cage. But I think a lot of that has to do with Kamal Usman controlling the pace of the fight. Dictating the pace and tempo. Usman just had his fifth title defense at welterweight, of course beating Colby Covington for the second time. Great fight, great competitive fight. So with Hamzat wrecking shop in the UFC, making waves already, creating a big buzz around him, his personality is, is kind of like brash, and if you mix that with an aggressive winning fight style, you got a recipe for a UFC star. So naturally, people are talking about Hamzat Chemeyev versus Kamaru Usman already. Part of that is because people see the skill in him, they're becoming believers, and they believe that Hamzat might be a crazy test for Usman, or the sentiment is there that he'll just flat out dethrone Usman. Now, this is what I have to say about the matter. Logically, that doesn't really make sense because we haven't even seen Hamzat fight an elite fighter yet we have to see Hamzat Chemeyev tested against elites top 10 guys top five guys to get a really better gauge on how he would fare against Kamar Usman there's so many unanswered questions with Hamzat Chemeyev but there's a lot of answered questions with Kamar Usman he's battle tested and proven with the best in the UFC for years so ranking wise, it doesn't make sense because Hamzat's going to be skipping over a lot of guys. I feel like he has to pay his dues a little bit. I think it would be good for his career if he slowly builds up, works his way to the champ. That's the right route to go. Now, personal thoughts, gut feelings on Hamzat Chemeyev versus Usman. Yes, I do think that Hamzat Chemeyev is a very credible threat even though logically probably doesn't make sense but just looking at how he fights looking at how dominant he is and again i do understand that his opponents are not really ranked like that but you can clearly clearly see the skill hamzat is a problem 
I've seen footage of some of his older fights. The guy can strike as well. Looks like he has some pretty great boxing. I think he's the real deal. I really do. It's exciting to think about Hamzat Chemia versus Kamar Usman one day down the line, hopefully. That is if Usman doesn't retire. He may or may not. I'm not going to sit here and say that Hamzat Chemaev without a doubt would beat Kamar Usman because that would be silly, but I think it's possible. Call me crazy. I think style wise, I think physicality wise, he's going to give Usman fits. It's funny because they're both bad matchups for each other. Think about it. Hamzat will be fighting a guy who could wrestle really well, who is physically imposing, who is very strong who has knockout power on the feet, who's a veteran, battle-tested, and proven champ. Then you got Usman fighting Hamzat, who is a freak wrestler, who most likely has insane conditioning, tough as hell, and from the looks of it, the clips you could find out there, pretty clean boxing. Oh, and knockout power himself. And I think the strongest attribute to Hamzat Chemaev, well, two things. Respectfully, I think he's crazy, which is awesome. That would take you far in itself. And two, I think the man is super mentally tough, just very driven, obsessed, and he has 100% belief in himself. Those attributes also carry you very far in the game. So yeah, guys, I hope this fight takes place at some point. Hopefully Usman is still within his prime. I think Hamzat will be a true test to the champ, but those are more like personal feelings. Sitting back logically, Hamzat has to work his way up. At least, at least, let him fight a top five guy first. And if he crushes them, hey, then maybe we could start talking about title shot. That's all I got, guys. You let me know in the comment section, is Hamzat Chemayev ready right now? How would you feel about them booking this fight? Or do you think he needs to work his way up the rankings? Do you think it would actually be better for him to go that route? I want to read it all. Drop those thoughts. Thanks for watching the segment, guys. If you enjoyed it and this is your first time at the channel, hit that subscribe button, like and share the video. That helps the channel grow. Thanks, guys, so much. And until the next segment, you all take care.